Historic rivals Britain and France have always jealously guarded their sovereignty and expensive military might, but budget cuts on both sides of the channel have made cooperation and bonhomie a little more necessary and attractive. Paris and London have now signed two defence treaties, unprecedented in the degree of military collaboration. It's a historic fact that Britain and France join forces to develop and use their abilities at the service of defence. This will, moreover, allow us to achieve a number of savings. The two NATO heavyweights already represent 50% of the EU's operational capabilities. The treaties paved the way to creating a new combined joint expeditionary force of several thousand French and British troops. The deal also includes the shared use of aircraft carriers and nuclear weapons testing and research facilities. France and Britain fell out spectacularly over the Iraq war, but David Cameron signalled the two powers are now on the same page. The idea of having a task force that trains and works together I think is an excellent idea because in so many parts of the world we are working together. We're working together in Afghanistan, we've worked together in the Balkans. But in the end, this would only happen if there was political agreement for it to happen. Nicolas Sarkozy was also keen to highlight the need for multilateralism. Sovereignty does not mean isolation. When you are isolated, you are no longer sovereign, but weak. On est fragile. Critics warned that France and Britain's two previous leaders drew up plans for military cooperation, which fizzled out and died. But now Cameron and Sarkozy's shared determination to cut back state spending could prove to be just what their nations need to put ancient hostilities to bed once and for all.